Hello from Weldon PC. Today I wanted to show you a little uh, jerry rigging I did. Uh, this is a computer power supply uh, that is running the LED light strip that you see ahead of you here. Probably asking yourself, besides being a computer nerd, why did I do this? Well, last night, let me get to what I what happened. I came in over the weekend and last night we had these lights converted to LED. Well, they stopped working because we plugged a 12 volt 3 amp power supply in to uh, three of those strips, but the strips must have overloaded the uh, conventional power supply that ships um, with the LEDs that we have here. And that's these guys right here. Um, so what I did is I plugged, we got 120 volt coming through this black line here. Okay, and that comes into the back of here. This power supply converts everything into 12 volt, 5 volt, and 3 volt. So what I have here, I've got a the yellow and the black and the red. Okay, you see another black pair here, but what the black cables indicate um, are negatives. The red is the 5 volt, and the yellow is the 12 volt. So what I did was I cut this cable as the end of a laptop power cord. Okay, as you can see right here. Okay, and that's that cable there. And then just for temporary purposes to see if this whole thing would work, I spliced into, um, into that laptop power cord. These lights conveniently come with a power supply connector. And then what you do is you cut, um, you cut the end. Let me turn these off just by pulling the plug here. Not the most ideal way. Uh, the end of what you can do is you can cut these to sh to length and you see those little chewed up copper pieces at the top right here those are the uh, connectors where you can solder or in this case there's a clip in there that has a positive and a negative feed uh, excuse me a positive and negative lead so what I did was I wired from here through my laptop cord into the connector provided into the clip provided and voila that gives us our LED power strip. The only other modification that has to be made, and this one's important, you have a, again, this is the 1224 uh, pin rail that goes into a motherboard normally. The difference is, is the green wire here is uh, that, it, there's only one green wire. This green wire is specifically for telling the power supply to turn on and off. So you have to wire that to ground in order to get the power supply to turn on. So again, I'll show you from here. I'll, I'll give you the lights because obviously I don't need to show you what plugging something in looks like. If I plug that in, that gives us our 12 volts. Now, one other interesting factoid. Um, I don't know if you noticed, I had a multimeter sitting here. And I'm going to prop my phone for this. Um, or at least I'm going to try. The one factoid uh, I'd like to share with you is these. Uh, the power supply is 12 volts, and we know it works because we have a fairly decent power supply tester made by Thermaltake. That's this guy right here. And if we plug it in before we made the modifications, we know that this power supply works. It's 12 volt rail is producing 12 volts. 5 volt rail is producing 5. 3, three volt pins are producing the proper three, 3 volt pins. However, what I'd like to show you is I'm going to turn my multimeter over to my 12 volt. And I know it's sideways. I don't have the best, oh, pardon me. I don't have the best cell phone holder here. This is one of my first real videos I'd like to show. Um, but you'll see here that we're at, I wish I had another set of hands. I could do this a little easier. Um, well, I guess I could just kind of tell you what happened was if I take, 
take my leads here and I and I touch them to the contact points negative to negative positive to positive obviously uh, when I read it the uh, with everything turned on it's only giving me 9.9 .9 volts so that means um, 9, 10, 11, 12, that's 4 volts is being consumed. So the reason we're doing this is because the standard laptop cord, or at least I call it a laptop brick because we're in the computer industry, that uh, didn't work because it only produced uh, about 30, um, I, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, 24 volts, uh, excuse me, 12 volts at 20, uh, 24 watts. Well, with this power supply, you'll see that it's a 400 watt power supply at 12 volts gives me enough amperage to run more than the three strips that we need to power here. So that's why we did this. That's why I'm showing you this video. If you have computer problems or you'd like more information on this project, it is kind of a, a backyard, <clears throat> excuse me, a backyard mechanic kind of a fix but we're only doing it for the sole purpose of converting our light system in our office from the conventional fluorescent bulbs that you see and then inside the light sockets uh, or the light not sockets but the light fixtures themselves we're putting these LED strips in um, and from what I read on the internet the that four foot bulb right there uh, if you let that run uh, their standard operating length, uh, that bulb will consume $7,400 a year worth of electricity as opposed to running this power supply and one of these strips, excuse me, four of these strips. So there's a considerable cost savings, especially given the fact that my office has several, several uh, of those fluorescent fixtures. Uh, this is Weldon at WeldonPC.com. If you like more videos or how-tos, please feel free to leave a comment below, subscribe, and share with your friends. Have a great day, and I really appreciate you watching.